Billions of rand have been pledged at the Global Citizen Festival that took place last weekend. Corporates and ordinary citizens gave funds that will go towards bettering society. Some causes include poverty alleviation, education and health care. However, activist Mkwebo Lamini says Global Citizen is a facade. He argues the challenges in South Africa are structural and cannot be solved through donations. Lamini joins us now in studio to talk more about his piece that he penned on the festival this past weekend. Well, this past week, actually. Mkwebo, a very good morning to you and thank you for coming in. I mean, billions of dollars, in fact, have been pledged for the betterment of millions of people on the African continent. Some will ask, why are you so skeptical? Well, uh, we, we will assume that uh, that was the initial purpose. But uh, we must not be naive about the, the role of uh, philanthropy and how capitalists operate and the real motive behind such a show. We appreciate donations. We appreciate assistance from individuals, but we are arguing that the government must not outsource its role to, uh, you know, to, to, to improve the lives of the masses of our people. And don't forget that uh, NGOs and foundations like this ones and capitalists have in the past been using such initiatives to hide their own uh, greediness in that they exploit the masses of our people and then they take back little, not even a fraction of what they exploit from the masses of our people so that they, they act as if they are doing something when in, in, in actual fact they're not doing. Donations won't change the plight of the masses of our people in the township. Uh, but the pushback against that would be from the organizers and those who support such initiatives is that no one said Global Citizen is going to fix all the problems. What it is doing is raising funds that could go a long way in assisting in government efforts to try and reduce poverty to better access to education. So why not allow it to go ahead? Now, the problem then is that the very same companies, the very same exploiters who created the problems that black people find themselves under are the ones who are saying they are bringing solutions to, to, to us as black masses. The poverty of our people is not by mistake, it's by design. Our people were exploited, our people were dispossessed by the, the very same uh, uh, peers, the very same Anglo-America, the very same Oppenheimers. They're the ones who are today saying they are bringing a solution. Our solutions is not of donation. Our, sol our problems are structural. We need to deal with the real issues. We need to deal with the ills of the past. So only, saying, through, only through redistribution hmm. of land and uh, incorporation of black people into the economy. I want us to talk about land in, in a moment, but are you then saying that initiatives such as Global Citizen should be rejected altogether so we don't do anything of the sort that raises money for the poor and those who need to go to school? Or are you saying we need to relook the way that it is done? We, 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 we said we appreciate any form of assistance from individuals, but we must be skeptical about who those individuals are and the motive behind those individuals donating. Look at the donations themselves, the time in which they come. When the national agenda in the country is land expropriation without compensation, now you bring such a, an initiative like the global citizen. Because remember the theme of the, uh, the global citizen uh, itself. It was that of a, 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 a national building, I mean national unity. We can't have national unity when the black masses of our people are still living in squalor and poverty. You can't speak of unity when the, the, our people don't own the land. We don't own assets. We don't own business. We don't own anything as black people. What unity then? What is it? What interest do I have with my superiors and my bosses? Because I am a sophisticated hobo. You, you, you don't own anything. There is no a, a bar, a, a, a equal bargain. Now, we are, they are then saying they will donate the billions to the, 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 the process of land expropriation. Mm -hmm. How are they going to do that? Now, because remember, he who feeds you controls you. If these people whom we want the land from are donating billions to a process of land expropriation, you are saying they will determine the terms in which we expropriate. That's what we are rejecting. Let's come to this then. You are a well-known youth leader 
in ANC circles. Your party, the ANC, with the help of the EFF, just this past week, adopted a report in Parliament that would see the amendment of Section 25 of the Constitution to allow for land expropriation without compensation. Is your suspicion of the intentions of big business at Global Citizen a festival endorsed, by the way, by your party's president, Cyril Ramaphosa, is that to say that you don't believe that your very leaders in the ANC have the backbone to stand up to capital in bringing about the expropriation of land without expropriation? Is that what you're saying? Well, uh, in a nutshell, yes. Why don't you trust As them? As young people, we have a role. As young people, our role is not to appease the old guards. As young people, our role is to advocate for the interest of the masses of, of our people who are still living in abject poverty. South Africa has been a capitalist state since, but we still live in poverty even today. We support every initiative that the current president, Siri Ramaphosa, is taking in trying to boost the economy of this country. We support him, but politically, we have other interests. We don't want to interfere with his role as president, an initiative of boosting the economy, but we are going to attack him very hard as black people. Not because we are going to attack him based on principle, because we refuse that the president is captured by capital. We are going to refuse with him. Not we, that one we are going to refuse. He's there, we love him, we are going to support him all the way, but we are going to attack capital any time it shows its ugly head, in that it's going to take and pull the president to the side of the West while our people are still languishing in abject poverty. Are you not peddling a conspiracy then, given that, with global citizen at least, there has not been any negative or nefarious motive revealed, at least not yet? So to then say, let's all be suspicious of this particular event may, not, may be a bit unfair, don't you agree? Or is, do you not think it's a conspiracy at this point? We, we, we are saying that uh, uh, South Africans must not be gullible. Uh -huh. We are saying our people must not be fooled. We are saying we are not a charity case. We are refusing that the black masses of our people must be treated as charity. Because charity is unsustainable. We are saying our people don't want to live from hand to mouth. That time of our people being taken care of by white people and companies must end. Our people want to self-sustain. Our people want self-help. Our people want to take care of themselves. We are saying create those opportunities. We don't want government to build toilets for us. We don't want government to continue building houses for us. We don't want government to continue paying our sisters and mothers for pregnancy and having children. We want to take care of our children as men. The pride of a man is when you are able to feed your own family. But government has created a dependent society. That's what we don't want. We are rejecting and we are saying as young people of the ANC, we are going to fight that. We want to be able to take care of ourselves. Let me come in here then, young person of the ANC. Of course. Come election time, you are going to be out on the streets, correct? Campaigning for Definitely. the ANC. So you're going to campaign for an ANC that is pro-social grants, an ANC that is pro-making free education a thing through subsidies that are from the government. Yes. But at the same time, you're saying you don't want a government of handouts. And one would also argue, as far as education is concerned, that the money from Global Citizen, by paying for Global's education, you're not giving him a handout, but in fact you're giving him a hand it's up because after graduation, Global can then go and either start a business or indeed find employment that would allow him to bring his family with him of out of poverty. So how do you walk that line where you are campaigning for a party that is pro the things you don't like, yet you even want to be the youth leader of that same formation. So that's a contradiction the, in terms, the, isn't the, it? The, the, the ANC is a broad church. The ANC, inside the ANC, is a battle of ideas. I come from a school of black consciousness and pan-Africanism. I'm in the ANC. In the ANC, you have communists and socialists. In the ANC, you have capitalists and witch. In the ANC, you have thugs. In the ANC, you have everything that South Africa has. It's a battle of ideas. As I am here, I am influencing the policies of the ANC. When I am defeated, I continue campaigning for the organization, but I don't stop to influence. I influence the policies of the ANC. By the way, fees must fall. Mm -hmm. 
was our project, and we influenced the ANC. They didn't wake up and put free education. We fought. We went to jail. We were brutalized. We were shaping the policies of this country. That's what the ANC is advocating. That's what we were taught. We change the narrative. Our, our role as young people is to shape the political discourse anytime. We won't sit here like what Tabo Mbegi was saying, that we must stick to policies of 1912, even if they are not applicable in 2018. We are relooking the policies of the ANC because we are building our own ANC. The ANC we live in now is an ANC of Nelson Mandela, of Kuma and Mta. Where is the ANC of our generation that will speak to the challenges of 2018? That's what we are fighting for, and we're unapologetic in that one. Very quickly, because I'm being told to wrap here. Some would say, listening to your positions, perhaps you should get yourself a red overall. Are you considering? Well, uh, like I said to you, that the ANC is a broad church. We have everything in the ANC. We are not going to leave the ANC because uh, it is speaking a different language. We are influencing the language already. Mm -hmm. You can't leave case achieves because it is losing. You chase the coach. Then you continue moving. Okay, so there's so much that you and I could unpack on this conversation. <laughs> we'll hopefully have you on at a later date.